The recent interaction between social media food critic Keith Lee and actress Taraji P. Henson at the 2024 BET Awards has stirred up online debate and brought unexpected attention to both public figures. The incident involving a case of mistaken identity brought about a series of reactions from Lee, Henson, and the online community, highlighting the complex nature of live television, celebrity interactions, and public expectations. On the night of the awards, Taraji P. Henson hosted the BET Awards, an event she has helmed multiple times with poise and charisma. As part of a playful skit, she walked through the audience, interacting with celebrities and influencers in the front rows. During the segment, Henson approached Jordan Howlett, a well-known TikTok creator, mistakenly identifying him as Keith Lee, another popular figure in the social media space. Her comment likening Howlett to rapper Method Man added a layer of humor, but when she called him Titch's Mr. Keith Lee, it quickly became clear that Henson had made a misstep. Keith Lee, who was seated just a few seats away with his wife, Ronnie, took the mix up in stride. However, the exchange didn't go unnoticed by fans who noted that Henson not only misidentified Lee, but also made a lighthearted, flirtatious comment in front of his wife. Henson quickly realized her mistake and attempted to smooth over the situation, addressing Lee directly to acknowledge the mix-up and expressing appreciation for his presence. Though the moment was brief, it set the stage for a complex series of online responses, from critiques to defenses. Following the awards, Lee posted a video on TikTok where he is seen dropping a rose he received during the ceremony at his feet. His caption read, our name will be known in every room it's supposed to be, when it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be with no confusion. God is amazing, coupled with a prayer hands emoji. While Lee intended the post to reflect his gratitude and patience with his journey to success, it was perceived by some viewers as a subtle critique of Henson's mix-up or a commentary on the awkward nature of the moment. The reaction to Lee's video was swift and divided. Some social media users found Lee's response to be overly dramatic, commenting that he should not take the mix-up so seriously, especially considering the challenges of live TV. They argued that the incident was an honest mistake and that Henson was simply doing her best in a high-pressure setting. Critics suggested that Lee's decision to record and share the rose-dropping video showed a level of sensitivity they felt was unwarranted for such a minor misunderstanding. Comments such as corny and sir, you do food reviews, stop being so dramatic, reflected the sentiments of those who felt Lee's response was an overreaction. Others, however, empathized with Lee, acknowledging that the moment could have been uncomfortable for him, especially considering that it took place on national television with his wife present. They pointed out that he may have felt slighted or overlooked in a room full of celebrities, where his name and identity were momentarily lost in the mix. Some viewers defended his reaction as a way to address his feelings of discomfort and assert his own identity in the entertainment space, a realm where recognition can be a challenging goal for newcomers. Public figures and fans alike shared their perspectives on the incident. Rapper Lil Scrappy offered advice to Lee, calling the moment an honest mistake and encouraging him to recognize that misunderstandings happen to everyone. Lil Scrappy's message emphasized the idea of mutual respect noting that while Lee's name is widely recognized in the food review space, maintaining perspective in moments like these is crucial. His comment struck a chord with some fans who appreciated the reminder to show understanding and grace. Meanwhile, supporters of Henson pointed to the inherent difficulties of live television, particularly for a host juggling various segments, personalities, and production cues. They noted that she likely had producers speaking in her ear, guiding her to different seats and sections while she simultaneously worked to engage the audience. Many viewers reminded critics that Henson, as an A-list actress, would not have intentionally disrespected a social media influencer or his wife. They argued that any perceived offense was unintentional and that Henson's job as a host required her to think on her feet and make quick adjustments in real time. In response to the growing controversy, Henson eventually addressed the matter on social media, expressing frustration with the backlash. She explained that the moment's awkwardness stemmed not from a lack of preparation on her part, but from changes in seating arrangements that left Lee out of his assigned seat during rehearsal. Henson clarified that she had practiced her routine in advance, and the error was compounded by the last-minute change in seating, which caused her to miss the correct mark. Her candid response hinted at her frustration with the criticism directed her way, emphasizing that live performances, particularly in awards show settings, often come with unplanned challenges. After Henson's response, Keith Lee took to TikTok again to clarify his own perspective. 
He reiterated that he bore no ill will toward Henson and praised her performance, saying she smoked it as the evening's host. Lee explained that his rose dropping video was not intended as a slight against Henson. Rather, it was a symbolic gesture reflecting his personal values. Lee shared that he wants to receive only what is meant for him, and he does not wish to claim anything that does not feel authentically his. He attributed the awkwardness of the encounter to the production team's lack of preparation, citing a rushed and unintentional setup as the main source of the mishap. Lee suggested that the production's last-minute adjustments left both him and Henson feeling unprepared and unaligned, leading to a misunderstanding that was uncomfortable for all parties involved. This additional context from Lee provided clarity for many of his followers, some of whom sympathized with the pressure he may have felt as an influencer thrust into a major event surrounded by celebrities. He also addressed online assumptions about his wife's reaction to Henson's playful flirting, explaining that they both understood Henson's humor was improvisational and not meant to be taken seriously. Lee acknowledged that the encounter was challenging for everyone involved, but he reassured viewers that he and his wife held no ill feelings toward Henson. This incident underscores the growing influence of social media personalities within the entertainment world, as influencers like Keith Lee are increasingly featured alongside traditional celebrities. As the boundaries between mainstream entertainment and social media continue to blur, moments like this highlight the challenges that arise when two different spheres collide on a public stage. Lee, as a well-known figure in the food review industry, brought his own expectations and values into an environment where spontaneity and improvisation are often the norm, while Henson operated within the constraints and pressures of live television. In the end, the controversy reflects the complexities of celebrity culture in an era where influencers and traditional celebrities intersect more than ever. The incident also raises questions about the pressures on hosts and production teams to keep up with the fast-paced demands of live television as well as the impact of public perception on influencers who may be less accustomed to the spontaneity of such events. For Keith Lee, his response was a reflection of his personal values and his commitment to staying true to himself in a space where recognition and authenticity are crucial. Ultimately, the interaction between Henson and Lee, while brief, has sparked conversations about professionalism, sensitivity, and the challenges that arise when different aspects of celebrity culture converge. Both Henson and Lee have since moved on from the incident, and fans are left to reflect on the nature of public perception and the ever-evolving dynamics of fame in the modern era. Through this experience, Lee has reiterated his dedication to his unique path, and Henson has reminded audiences of the complexities involved in live performance. Their responses serve as a reminder of the humanity behind public personas and the importance of empathy, especially in the ever-watchful world of social media and celebrity culture. Taraji P. Henson has established herself as one of Hollywood's most resilient and multi-talented actors, navigating an industry that has often been unkind to women of color. With a career spanning over two decades, Henson's life has been marked by personal and professional highs, as well as her fair share of controversies and challenges. Born on September 11, 1970, in Washington, D.C., Henson's path to stardom has been anything but conventional. Raised by a single mother, Henson knew from an early age that she wanted to act, and she pursued her dream with an unmatched determination, even as she struggled to find stability. Henson's journey began with a series of humble roles in film and television, gradually building her reputation as a versatile actress capable of bringing depth to every role. Her big break came in 2001, with a memorable performance in Baby Boy alongside Tyrese Gibson. Her character Yvette, resonated deeply with audiences and established her as a fresh new face in Hollywood. Henson's portrayal of Yvette became iconic, capturing the nuances of a young woman trying to navigate a complicated relationship, motherhood, and her own dreams. This role was pivotal for Henson, not only showcasing her talent, but also cementing her as a relatable and genuine actress willing to take on complex, grounded roles. In the years that followed, Henson continued to impress, landing roles in notable films like Hustle and Flow, 2005, and Talk to Me, 2007. However, it was her role as Queenie in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, 2008, that earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, a testament to her ability to bring emotional authenticity to her performances. This recognition marked a turning point for Henson, catapulting her to mainstream stardom and allowing her to choose roles that would showcase her dynamic range. 
As her star continued to rise, she became a favorite for roles in both film and television, including her iconic portrayal of Cookie Lion in the hit television show Empire, which aired from 2015 to 2020. Cookie was a fierce, unapologetic character who became a cultural icon, and Henson's performance earned her a Golden Globe and a devoted fan base. Despite her success, Henson's life has been far from smooth sailing. Her personal relationships have often been a subject of interest, with media scrutiny following her every move. Henson has been candid about her past relationships and the challenges of dating as a successful woman in Hollywood. One of the most significant relationships in her life was with William Lamar Johnson, the father of her son, Marcel. Johnson was tragically murdered in 2003, an event that Henson has described as deeply traumatic. She has spoken publicly about the pain of losing Johnson and how it affected her life, becoming an experience that she has drawn upon in her acting. As she has navigated her career and personal life, Henson has also found herself involved in various controversies. One such instance involved her vocal stance on racial inequality in Hollywood. Henson has long been outspoken about the limited roles available for Black women and has used her platform to advocate for diversity and inclusion. She has criticized the industry's tendency to typecast Black actresses and has often shared her frustration with the limited opportunities for women of color. This has sometimes led to friction within the industry, with some questioning her outspoken approach, but Henson has remained steadfast in her commitment to advocating for change. In addition to her advocacy for diversity, Henson's lifestyle and choices have attracted public attention. Known for her glamorous red carpet appearances, Henson embodies the epitome of Hollywood elegance. She has a love for high fashion and isn't afraid to take risks, often seen in bold outfits that reflect her vibrant personality. Her style, both on and off the red carpet, has cemented her status as a fashion icon. Henson has collaborated with top designers and is frequently featured in fashion magazines her daring choices setting trends and showcasing her confidence. This love for fashion extends into her personal life, where Henson often shares glimpses of her lavish lifestyle, from luxurious vacations to high-profile events with her fans on social media. Beyond her glamorous exterior, Henson has proven to be a deeply compassionate and philanthropic individual. In 2018, she founded the Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation, named after her father, to tackle the stigma surrounding mental health in the Black community. Her father, a Vietnam War veteran, struggled with mental health issues, and Henson has cited his journey as her inspiration for the foundation. Through her work, she has highlighted the unique challenges faced by Black Americans in accessing mental health resources and has dedicated herself to raising awareness and providing support for those in need. Her advocacy has been well-received, with many praising her for addressing an often overlooked issue within the African-American community. In 2019, Henson was engaged to former NFL player Kelvin Hayden, and the couple's relationship quickly became a favorite topic among fans and tabloids alike. Their relationship, marked by public displays of affection and candid social media posts, seemed like a fairy tale, but it ultimately ended in 2020. Henson opened up about the split, emphasizing the importance of self-care and personal growth. She revealed that the relationship had challenges and that both she and Hayden recognized the need to prioritize their own happiness. This transparency endeared her to fans, as she demonstrated the courage to end a relationship that no longer aligned with her values and aspirations. Henson's transparency about her personal life has made her a relatable figure, but it has also left her vulnerable to criticism. In 2020, she faced backlash for comments she made on Instagram, where she discussed her experiences with anxiety and depression. Some accused her of trivializing mental health issues, while others praised her for her honesty. Henson responded by reaffirming her commitment to mental health advocacy and clarifying her intentions, emphasizing the importance of destigmatizing mental health issues. This incident highlighted the challenges public figures face in balancing transparency with the risks of being misinterpreted. Henson's journey has not only included controversies surrounding her advocacy and lifestyle, but also her professional endeavors. Her outspoken nature has sometimes clashed with industry norms, leading to debates over her roles and choices. For instance, her decision to play Cookie Lion, a character often involved in morally ambiguous situations, received both praise and criticism. Some viewers felt that Cookie perpetuated stereotypes about Black women, while others saw her as a powerful figure who subverted these stereotypes by owning her strength and unapologetic demeanor. Henson has defended the character, explaining that Cookie's complexities make her a fully realized human being, rather than a simple caricature. 
In addition to her acting career, Henson has expanded her repertoire by stepping into the world of entrepreneurship. She launched her hair care line, TPH by Taraji, which focuses on creating products for textured and natural hair. The line has received positive reviews, with many customers praising its effectiveness and inclusivity. Through TPH, Henson has not only tapped into a lucrative market, but also provided products that cater specifically to the needs of Black women, a demographic often underserved by the beauty industry. Her brand's success has solidified her position as a savvy businesswoman and a role model for aspiring entrepreneurs. Throughout her career, Henson has consistently used her platform to advocate for social change, drawing attention to issues that impact her community. Her activism has not been without controversy, as some critics argue that her outspoken views can be polarizing. However, Henson's dedication to speaking out against injustices has earned her respect and admiration from fans and fellow activists. She has been vocal on issues ranging from racial inequality to police brutality, often using her social media presence to engage with followers and raise awareness. In recent years, Henson has also ventured into production, working on projects that tell stories from a Black perspective. Her role as an executive producer on Empire allowed her to shape the narrative of one of the most successful shows centered on Black characters, a feat that is still rare in Hollywood. By taking on behind-the-scenes roles, Henson is helping to create opportunities for other Black artists and contribute to a more inclusive entertainment landscape. Henson's career, personal life, and philanthropic efforts have made her one of the most influential figures in Hollywood. Despite the challenges she has faced, from personal heartbreak to professional controversies, she has continued to push forward, advocating for herself and her community. Her resilience and dedication to her craft have earned her accolades, but it's her honesty and authenticity that have endeared her to fans around the world. In an industry that often demands conformity, Henson's refusal to be anything other than herself is a testament to her strength and individuality. As she continues to evolve as an artist, advocate, and entrepreneur, Henson's legacy is one of resilience, empowerment, and a commitment to lifting up those around her.